Hi everyone, Melissa here. Today I'm going to be using my activator technique to create a tortoise shell design. Um, I've been wanting to try to do a tortoise shell design with dip powder for a long time without having to use gel or polishes or anything like that. So I was excited when I uh, figured out this technique and knew that this was one of the designs I wanted to try out with it. So uh, one of the um, things I'm going to be using today, well, the main thing I'm going to be using today, I have this Bioset resin activator. Um, previously I had been using my Sparkle Co activator, but it's about gone and it's incredibly expensive for one jar. So I had had this I got from Sally's some time ago. I was trying to use it as a regular activator and it didn't work great as a regular activator because it dries very, very slowly. But I think that means it will work perfectly for this um, technique. So I'm going to be using this today. I've already done a test swatch with it, so I know I know it does work well. Um, for this design, I'm going to be using all double dipped colors. I'm going to be using If You Must. Now, if you are an If You Must fan, you'll know that her new batch of If You Must was a bit darker, um, a slightly different, a little bit more orange because of the dye batch that she got in for it. So this is the new batch of If You Must, slightly more orange. It actually lends perfectly to this design. Then I have her Bared Down, which is a uh, deeper burnt orange color. And then I'm going to be using Indulge, which is her deep dark chocolate brown. And then Onyx, which is her black. So to start, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm going to dip um, these three fingers all in Indulge. I'm just doing straight brown on those. And then I'm going to do two dips each of these nails into If You Must. And if you see my little nail here that I smashed a few weeks ago is uh, still intact. It's It doesn't hurt, it's starting to grow out. I don't know what went on with it or why it looks that way, but as long as it's still there, I'm happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this dipping now. I'm going to start with, um, as always, doing my prep. I've already um, buffed and I've already done my cuticles, done my prep and buffed the nails. So we're gonna start by applying the prep bond, which helps prevent lifting by drying out the nail bed. Now we're just gonna do our dips of indulge on these. Okay, now I have all that color dipped. I'm gonna just gonna do two dips of If You Must on each of these nails. Okay, and we are done with that color. So when, once that is done, we are going to go on to creating our tortoise shell design. I absolutely love that you can see my beautiful, uh, you know, fracture, <laughs> nail fracture line through this. So we'll see if this design ends up covering that up. I don't know. If not, it's fine. It's a war wound. I'll be okay. Okay, so for the tortoise shell look itself, I'm going to be using Bear Down, Indulge, and Onyx. I'm going to be using this, um, this is a builder gel brush, like this is the smaller side. I want a little more detail. And I'm going to be using, as I showed before, this All Season Nails Bioset Resin Activator. It's slightly different ingredients than, um, say, the Double Dipped Activator. I was just comparing them. It's a little bit different but it works the same way. So it works perfectly for this and then it's a much larger bottle and for a much smaller price, which is always fantastic. So I'm just, just gonna take the spray top off so I can stick the brush directly in and we're ready to go. So I'm going to dip in, I'm gonna get a good amount of liquid on the brush. Um, just dip very gently into the color and then we're going to come in and we're going to just block out like a, a shape here. Kind of a, not perfect shape. It doesn't really matter, but okay, I'm going to do that again. And 
another one here. Just gonna kind of bring it close to the other one, but not touching. So there's like a little lane between them of the mustard. And I'm gonna come down and just keep doing small spots like that of this orange. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so a little more for that one. You and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Forever. Sometimes it will be watery than other times. Actually, the slightly more liquid it is, the easier it is to work with and to manipulate. But you kind of get used to how much to use for what you want. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back. Dries pretty quickly though. Still. You get a little too much of something, you can always kind of scrape it off, whether you're using like um, like this, like the back end here. Don't like how that turned out, so I'm gonna scrape off some of that excess. It was a little too thick. Most of that is gonna be covered anyway with brown once we get to it, so it doesn't matter if it looks perfect, but I'm gonna come in with some more watered down orange and kind of fill that so it doesn't look so messy. So far it looks kinda of like a giraffe. Almost like giraffe print. This would be a way to do uh, pretty pretty easy giraffe print too. I'm gonna go on and do the other nail also with the same color and the same idea. And I'm going to take this brush and clean it off really quickly in acetone to clean off the uh, other color, the orange I was just using, because we're going to be switching over to brown now. Now we're going to do the same thing with the brown, but we're going to go in um, a little bit smaller than the original outline. And we want it pretty well watered down. We want that nice and thin. We're gonna come in here. Actually, man, that, that spreads pretty far here, so I'm gonna spread that out a little. And go over and do it on the other nail too. It's really easy to pick up more than you want, so you have to be very careful. Getting some good control over it if you can. 
not, you can always fix it. So now these two, um, I put some pretty large uh, globs on there and that wasn't intentional, but it kind of achieved the look that this next coat I'm gonna be putting on the rest of them is gonna achieve for the rest. So I'm not gonna be doing a second coat of the brown on these two since they already have a pretty thick layer there. I'm just gonna be doing it on the ones that it hasn't gotten quite as dark in the center. So I'm just gonna add a little here. Again, just a little smaller than the area you applied it last time. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the black. Just a touch, not a lot. And it gives it that dimension right in the center there. Okay, I think that will do. Uh, now I'm just gonna do a few coats of clear over the top of this to really encapsulate that um, tortoise shell design and it will give it some dimension inside of the encapsulation once we're done filing it all down. So I'm gonna do my few dips and then activate and I'll be right back. Okay, now of course right now these are looking thick. Thick, thick, thick. But I'm gonna activate them. I'm going to file everything and then uh, I'll come back and we'll see we'll see how they ended up on the nails. Okay, and I'm back from my filing adventures and done uh, for the most part, you know. I'm going to um just buff them a little now, get them good and smooth, and then you can do the top coat and see the finished product. Okay, there we are with the finished tortoise shell look. I think it's pretty good. I think I can definitely play with this a little bit more to give different tortoise shell looks because I know that there are a lot, of a lot of different kinds. If you can think of anything, any suggestions to give me or, or ideas you have, different ways this can be done, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to hear from you. Um, links to everything I have used today will be below. And um, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you see.